He's on the move. Ooh, what it do, Ski? It's your boy, Farewell34, and today I'm here with my reaction video to Stargate SG1 Episode 7. How's it going, everybody? Last episode, we met God. And <laughs> let's see what's gonna go down this time for SG1. As always, if you enjoy this one, definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. So with that being said, let's get into it, guys. Yeet. Ooh, everyone's getting the shades treatment. Oh, Neil. What do we got here, Teal? I do not know. May indicate a civilization of some kind. Crystals. Granite, not volcanic. There's a whole one. Looks like they've been blasted apart by something. It's the mystery behind these crystals. They got some sort of special ability. Have them turning on each other. Jesus. Compromised again. <laughs> oh shit! Guess we're at the doppelganger episode. All right, I'm digging the start of this one. Since we didn't find them anywhere else on the planet, it's likely that they were gathered and put there. What? Early Greek cultures valued crystal gemstones, perhaps the pit of some religious or ceremonial significance. Is nobody noticing the lack of uh, wisecracking comments? We didn't find comments? any unbroken crystals, but we have this one. SG-1 is on stand down until your next mission comes up. Listen, no offense, Colonel, but this becomes the women's locker room in, well, now. You know, I hate those sandy planets. You have a family. Yes. I'm an auntie myself. My brother moved to San Diego, so I don't get to see him much. So you feel the same way. Goodbye, Sam. Bye. Jack seems very focused. Yeah. I didn't even know he was married. Oh, he isn't. Um, he was, but they separated after his son died. Yeah. Colonel O'Neill, you are departing? Yes. You said one day you would show me your world. I would like to see it now. Another time. I have been curved. What else don't I know about him? Well, he doesn't really tell you much until he gets to know you. Tell me more about the Colonel. What happened to his son? We don't know about this. Charlie accidentally killed himself with Jack's personal gun. Oh, God. Oh, that's... That's horrible. Yeah. Jack never forgave himself. He holed up and turned his back in the world for, uh, a long time. And what about his wife? Sarah, I don't think they've seen each other since he joined SG-1. He said... He doesn't tell you much. Look at this. That's awful. See the edge of this crystal here, how it's glassy like it's been melted? Can you tell what did it? True. I think this is our first time outside the facility on Earth. Hello, Sarah. Oh, gosh. Hello, Sarah. Dad, I'm serious. If I keep... Hello, Sarah. Been there long? Yes. Could have said something. What's the objective of this doppelganger? Right, you did. Show up, waltz back into my life, is that it? I need to find Charlie. Is he here? I need Charlie. That's his bicycle, isn't it? I kept some of his things. Yes, I know. Jack, you're scaring me. It's important, Sarah. Carly! Don't! Work on me. What the hell is wrong with you? Is this your idea of a joke? Or... Maybe because there was nobody there, um, all the people got sapped into the crystal, and the one that O'Neill looked at, um, that was one of the last people who was, uh, who was on that planet. So that's why he's um, going around trying to explore. I don't know. I'm not too sure how they would pick up on that. O'Neill got got left behind, and this is somebody else. After last night's round, the bull was 
annihilated today when Bear is leaving the sea of red behind him. Tilk, we need your help. Your world is a strange place. So's yours. This Sarah kept all his things, like that bike outside. It's her way of keeping him around a while. I thought I would find Charlie here. If it helps you, I'm, I'm glad you're here. This is really sad, but the music is uh, kind of ruining it for me. Oh, so Jack, for an Irishman, you never were much of a talker, but that never mattered. I'll give you that much. You, you married my daughter for you yet, so you break your heart again, and God help you, I'll make you wish you never did. This kid is interested in space to explore the stars. Is Charlie about ready? Yeah, he was running around here a few minutes ago. for me to fire my staff weapon in the gate room? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. We haven't talked about Charlie since he died. Why now? Do you remember how much fun Charlie used to have playing that game? Baseball? Baseball. <laughs> Baseball. He loved that game. I have to get back to the Stargate. Back to what? Stargate. We can bring him back. I've been crying. That's what's wrong. What's with you? Upstairs. I've never seen you like that before. For a second, I thought you were gonna cry. It's all that O'Neill military bravado. I don't think I have it. <laughs> what? Smoke. Oh my God, Mike left a casserole in for me. What is a Stanford? Hey, did you see this thing inside of it? I didn't think that was there before. Whoa! See ya, Captain Dr. Tilk! Yeah, it was... Me. Holy Hannah. It was trying go. to communicate with us. I don't know the magic password, do you? All right, let's go. Sonic walks in with the Chaos Emeralds. Whatever's on your mind, anything, just talk to me. You were. When? When Charlie died. That's why I left. <sighs> you son of a bitch. You walked down on me back then because you thought I was mad at you? You trying to tell me it's my fault? No. Why didn't you talk to me? Why didn't you ask? I should have. It happened in our house. It was your gun. I know you blamed yourself, but if you just opened up for once and let me through that armor of yours, we could have helped each other. I'm sorry it took so long. It should have been said sooner. Is that what you came to tell me? There's no way to make you understand what I came here to do. I thought if I could bring Charlie back through the Stargate... Just shut it. up about that, would you? Charlie is gone, Jack. Oh. Yeah? It appears to be short circuiting. Then how do you explain the other one? What other one? What? Okay, so that's not possible. I didn't come back with you guys. What the hell is that thing? The what? EM energy in the one intact crystal we brought back from P3X562 may hold the key to this. Explain. Hey, you fam, put me up! Why did you not speak before? Fear. Fear of what? The Goa'uld came to our planet long ago. 
We were not afraid then, and we tried to greet them. You thought that your entire race was destroyed by the ghouls as punishment for harming one of them. What would you do if you thought it was going to happen again? Oh, a scheme to tough conversation. Sir, O'Neill, the other guy, is nowhere in the mountain. Okay, we got a problem. Then anyone nearby could get a lethal dose of radiation. Well, if that's true, we have a very serious problem on our hands. Let's hope it's not. Family. He's on the move. Also, please leave a message. I gotta get there. Whole squad's going. The difference is tearing it apart. Can we stop it? I don't know. Check with the local police. No one's at your wife's house. One of the local hospitals admitted to J. O'Neill less than an hour ago. Teal, you'll have to leave that here. I have seen your world. I will need it. Can't let you take your weapon, Teal. Do or say anything that reveals the existence of the SGCR, the Stargate. Chicago, the Windy City, home of the Blackhawks, the Bulls, and the White Sox. Don't forget the Cubs. He's learned That's a lot. Up, Colonel. Okay, I'm digging it. Impromptu uh, extract. This is the place we brought him. Yes, it is. I have to get to the Stargate. Can we do that? Jack, I know you want to get to the Stargate. <laughs> I was busting a nut, Jesus. As soon as Colonel O'Neill's team gives the signal, I want you to start shutting the power down inside. All right. Jack? Sir. Are you all right? Yes, I'm just Are you okay? Yeah. What room? Room three. Colonel! O'Neill vs. O'Neill. Stay back. I do not want to do harm you, but to harm you. Radiation's dropped off. O'Neill, are you all right? I'm okay. You have come to destroy me. The ghouls. The people who destroyed your race. They're our enemies, too. Thank you. Why did you come here? When my energy hurt you, I saw the mind of a warrior. As I feared those who destroyed my race, I understand now. Your deepest pain was not the physical injury I had caused. Your pain comes from an empty place in your heart where Charlie once was. Bring Charlie to you. It would make you well. I did not understand. His death meant he could no longer exist as flesh. Just as I cannot change the day that the gold destroyed my world, I am showing you what if Charlie is still there, inside you. Jack? Jack. The radiation's still low, but I don't know for how long. We have to go. I get that it'll help you with, I guess, some closure and some feelings. That are still, we still have, but I mean, it's also Chopper's not really now. You guys go ahead. At least you're gonna see him the last time. <laughs> Whatever that is. The other guy, I know what he said. I have a pretty fair idea. We were pretty great together, weren't we? We were the greatest. Lights on. I'll be back.
And that was my reaction video to Stargate SG-1 Season 1 Episode 7. We were diving a little bit more into the emotional bag this episode, obviously getting some more, uh, a decent amount of backstory for O'Neill's character here, focusing on his, you know, his, his previous relationship with Sarah and, uh, and obviously with his, with his boy Charlie. And off the bat, really tragic story there him awful and uh i think the emotional aspects to this episode between him and sarah and that idea worked about half the time for me uh i thought towards the end especially it worked well i think earlier on it was a little bit jarring and then the music was a little was blaring a little bit too much for me and, and while i think some of the moments with sarah and him worked effective about half the time it's unfortunate that it was with the duplicate version of o'neill that had that development and it necessarily wasn't with it wasn't with art with the main character o'neill right um so i'm just assuming that him and sarah are gonna have can have a conversation about what happened and try and mend their relationship moving forward um i'm just guessing that o'neill our o'neill after going through this whole ordeal would probably have a similar response and reaction after this whole after everything just went down I, at least i'd hope you know like they said in this episode you know no parent should die before kids getting to see a son again and i thought they, I, I thought those i thought some of those moments towards the end were, were fairly sweet um Something interesting too about this episode, what I liked was we get to see a different perspective to the SG team, obviously um, on a more personable note, getting to learn more about O'Neill's backstory, but also appreciate was seeing a different perspective of uh, Teal'c, him, you know, learning more about earth and our culture and our, our society uh, through television, that perspective on this episode. I actually really enjoyed it, it was a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to seeing Teal'c, you know, dabble more, more around and, uh, and I thought I thought Daniel and Sam had some, had some decent chemistry this episode too, uh, while they're trying to figure out what was going on and uh yeah overall um while i did think it while i did think at parts it was a little bit cheesy and the music was overbearing uh and the performances were a little a little stale here here there during some of the emotional bits earlier on it did manage to uh make a pretty interesting story i think i can sort of look past some of the some of the more nitpicks this episode i guess with like the, like how the duplicate situation worked and i gotta say the security at sg1 is is slightly lackluster the whole iris situation just popping up out of nowhere like can you remotely control the uh, iris this whole time i didn't know that pretty decent story honestly and uh they're i think they hit the, some of the emotional beats here as well so that was my reaction video to stargate sg1 guys season one episode seven cold lazarus lazarus the story coming back from the dead but guys what do you think about this one i would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below if this is any sort of hint is uh, how the stories are going to progress especially later on with, with the character development and that get, get a bit emotional towards the end there uh it gets me excited for the future so as always guys if you enjoyed this video, then definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. But with that being said, guys, I will catch you all in the next one. But don't forget, in case you're interested in getting the full Unedited Raw reactions and more, then definitely check out patreon.com slash 34 in the description down below. With that being said, though, guys, I will catch your beautiful faces in the next one. I love you.